happy morning. This is Raja Shyam Prasad Suraka, studying in Acharya Bala Shiksha Mandir. Today I will be using the crazy professor reading method to read this reading card. This is the story of Akiba, a Jewish man. First step, silent reading. Second step, loud reading. In those days, the people of his country were very unkind to Jews and treated them very badly. Akiba decided to leave his country and travel to a more peaceful land. He took with him only three things. The first was a lamp so that he could read the holy book in the evenings. The second was a cow to wake him up in the morning so that he could say his prayers. The last was a donkey who would tra carry him on his travels. Third step, loud reading with action. In those days, the people of his country were very unkind to the Jews and treated them very badly. Akiba decided to leave his country and travel to a more peaceful land. He took with him only three things. The first was a lamb so he could read the holy book in the evenings. The next was a cop to wake him up in the mornings so that he could say his prayers. The last was a donkey who would carry him on his travels. Fourth step, loud reading with actions and expressions. In those days, people of his country were very unkind to the Jews, treated them very badly. Akiba decided to leave his country for a much more peaceful land. He took with him only three things. The first was a lamp so that he could read the holy book in the evenings. The next was a cock to wake him up in the morning so that he could say his prayers. The last was a donkey who would carry him on his travels. Fifth step, paraphrasing. This is the story of Akiba. Akiba is a Jewish man. He left his country as in his country Jews were being treated very badly. While traveling, he stopped at the village for shelter. But all the villagers didn't give him shelter. So he rested at the side of a road under a tall tree. During the night, he went through lots of struggles. In the morning when he woke up, he found out that the village was robbed and he was thanking God who had been saving him. Thank you. Have a happy day.